Barbara Streisand, despite possessing outstanding acting talent, her life is still not better than anyone else's. Life had an unfortunate beginning and fierce challenges in her career. Barbara had to endure it alone without revealing it to anyone. In this video, we reveal the whole truth about Barbara Streisand's life behind the spotlight. Let's get started. Barbara Streisand's early life was marked by the absence of her father, Emmanuel Streisand. He passed away at the young age of 35 when Barbara was just 15 months old. For many years, her mother, Diana, told her and her brother, Sheldon, that their father had died due to overworking, which had led to a cerebral hemorrhage. However, the truth about his death was quite different. According to People magazine, Emmanuel had actually suffered respiratory failure probably induced when morphine was injected into his neck to halt an epileptic fit. Emmanuel's untimely death had a profound impact on Barbara and her family. She expressed in an interview with People in 1983, I always felt I never had a father. There wasn't even a picture of us together. Only his books down in the cellar, tied up with string. This absence of her father made her stand out among her peers, and she often referred to herself as the kid who had a good voice and no father. Despite the physical absence of her father, Emmanuel's influence on Barbara's life was significant. She revealed in an interview with Oprah Winfrey that, at her brother's suggestion, she visited a medium who claimed to have the ability to communicate with their father. This experience was a turning point for Barbara. She said, for 39 years, I hadn't even visited my father's grave. So first, I went there and took a picture with my arm around his tombstone. It's the only picture I have with him. Then we met with the woman, and let me tell you, the table moved. Barbara felt totally connected to her father during this experience. This deep connection and spiritual encounter inspired Barbara Streisand to take a significant step in her career. It motivated her to direct the movie Yentl. This film was a passion project for her, and it marked her directorial debut. It's clear that her father's presence, even in absence, played a crucial role in shaping her life and career, leading her to embark on new and meaningful creative endeavors. After the death of her husband, Emmanuel Streisand, Diana Streisand Kind, who was Barbara Streisand's mother, went through a difficult period and essentially distanced herself from her family. Barbara revealed that emotionally, her mother had also checked out during this trying time. Barbara told People magazine that her mother was going through her own trauma, and this deeply affected their relationship. Diana's mental health was also a point of discussion, as she had taken Prozac, a medication often prescribed for depression and anxiety. Barbara explained to the Daily Mail that Prozac seemed to dull her mother's emotions, making her less prone to anger. Additionally, Diana suffered from dementia, which further complicated her emotional state. Barbara acknowledged her mother's unhappiness, but didn't hold resentment towards her, recognizing that some parents struggled to like themselves and, consequently, their offspring. She stated, My mother meant well. Despite the emotional distance, Diana had her own way of showing care. Diana's method of connecting with her daughter was through food. Barbara shared with Oprah Winfrey that her mother expressed love by preparing and delivering meals. When Barbara graduated from high school early and moved out at the age of 16 to pursue acting, her mother would make the effort to visit her and bring half a cantaloupe and some chicken soup as an expression of her affection. Despite their complex relationship, Diana Streisand. Kind passed away in 2002 at the age of 93 in Los Angeles. According to Barbara Streisand's publicist, Diana was the daughter of a cantor and had a beautiful singing voice, which was a legacy that she passed on to her daughters, including the famous singer and actress Barbara Streisand. Diana's use of food as a way to connect with her daughter and her love for music left a lasting impact on Barbara's life. After Barbara Streisand's father passed away, her family's living situation changed significantly. Barbara, along with her mother, Diana, and her older brother, Sheldon, 
moved to her maternal grandparents' apartment in Brooklyn, which was described as too small for comfort. According to People magazine, the apartment was so cramped that Barbara's grandparents shared one room, and Barbara, her mother, and her brother shared another, with Sheldon sleeping on a cot next to them. The family didn't even have a living room, which is something that left an impression on Barbara. She mentioned to Oprah Winfrey that the lack of a couch in her childhood home might be why she developed an affection for them later in life. Barbara shared more about her upbringing, saying, I never had a bedroom to myself until I was 16. Despite the less-than-ideal living conditions, she spoke fondly of her Brooklyn roots. She had deep attachments to her Brooklyn origins and cherished the memories associated with the neighborhood, including the Lowe's Kings Theater, Erasmus High School, the yeshiva she attended, the Brooklyn Dodgers baseball team, Prospect Park, and the great Chinese food in the area. In a statement before a 2012 homecoming concert in Brooklyn, as reported by the New York Times, Barbara Streisand expressed her appreciation for her hometown, stating, Brooklyn to me means the Lowe's Kings, Erasmus, the yeshiva I went to, the Dodgers, Prospect Park, great Chinese food. I'm so glad I came from Brooklyn. It's down to earth. I guess you can come home again. Brooklyn held a special place in her heart and was an integral part of her identity. Interestingly, it was in her grandparents' small apartment on Pulaski Street in Brooklyn that Barbara Streisand first discovered her singing talent. This humble beginning ultimately paved the way for her remarkable and iconic career as a singer and actress. Barbara Streisand's childhood took an unexpected turn when her mother, Diana, remarried when Barbara was just seven years old. What was particularly troubling for the young Barbara was the fact that her mother never actually informed her of this significant life change. Barbara, in an interview with Oprah Winfrey, mentioned, My mother never actually told me she had remarried. This lack of communication left a lasting impact on Barbara, causing her to develop an aversion to dishonesty. She stated, I'm convinced this is why I cannot stand to be lied to. I can take any truth. Just don't lie to me. Diana's new husband, Lou Kind, arrived in their lives without warning, and it appears that he didn't have a warm or accepting relationship with young Barbara. Despite Barbara's best efforts to gain his approval and affection, he apparently actively disliked her. She made earnest attempts to be close to him, even going so far as to call him dad and tending to his comfort by fetching his slippers at night when he returned home. She would even crawl on her belly to avoid walking in front of the TV when he was watching wrestling. However, these efforts were in vain, as Barbara explained to Oprah Winfrey. But did he like me? No way. Barbara's brother, Sheldon, shared a similar sentiment about their stepfather, Lou Kind. He described Kind as being particularly harsh towards Barbara, recounting how Kind often pitted her, then known as Barbara, against her half-sister, Rosalind, who was born from their mother's second marriage. Kind's taunts and comparisons made life difficult for Barbara, as he continually emphasized how plain she was in comparison to her half-sister. This tumultuous relationship with her stepfather and the emotional challenges it presented would have a lasting impact on Barbara Streisand's life and her relationships. Barbara Streisand's journey to stardom was marked by a conflict between her aspirations and her mother's desires. Even at a young age, Barbara displayed undeniable talent and a strong desire to become an actor. She had a passion for show business. However, her mother, Diana, had different plans for her daughter's future. According to People magazine, Diana wanted Barbara to pursue a more conventional and secure career as a secretary. Diana's rationale was to provide Barbara with stability and security, as she was concerned about the uncertainties and potential rejections that often accompany a career in show business. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Barbara revealed that her mother didn't actively encourage her to become an actress, possibly to shield her from the hardships and setbacks of the entertainment industry. Diana didn't hold high hopes for Barbara's success and never believed she would achieve stardom.
However, Barbara later came to understand that her mother's reluctance to support her creative aspirations ran deeper than just concern for her well-being. She realized that Diana was also envious of her success. In a poignant moment during Christmas when Barbara was performing in Funny Girl, Diana's emotions spilled over. Barbara recalled the incident to Winfrey, saying that Diana became emotional, closed her eyes, and tearfully asked, why is Barbara getting all the presents? Where are my presents? This was the moment when Barbara realized that her mother had her own dreams of fame and success. Despite these conflicts and her mother's shortcomings, Barbara eventually forgave her. In a conversation with the Daily Mail in 2018, she shared her understanding of her mother's desires and the jealousy she felt. Barbara recognized that Diana had her own aspirations including a desire to be a singer, and that the jealousy she displayed was a result of her unfulfilled dreams. This revelation allowed Barbara to find a level of forgiveness and empathy for her mother's complex feelings and actions. Barbara Streisand's romantic life has been marked by complexity and a series of relationships before finding stability with her husband of over 20 years, actor James Brolin. Her first marriage was to actor Elliot Gould, a union that lasted from 1963 to 1971. The couple had a son together named Jason. However, their marriage encountered challenges, and they eventually drifted apart. In an interview with People, Gould shared that Barbara had asked him why their relationship had faltered. He explained that they didn't grow together, primarily because Barbara's burgeoning career took precedence and became more important than their relationship. Despite the difficulties, Gould acknowledged the unique bond they shared and the rapid success they achieved, emphasizing that, there's you and me and our kid. According to a source, Barbara Streisand and Elliot Gould's breakup was due to an affair rumor involving Omar Sharif. Streisand had initially been cast in the Broadway production of Funny Girl, where she portrayed Fanny Bryce, and she later won an Oscar for reprising the same role in the 1968 film adaptation. However, the film didn't just generate attention for its awards. It also garnered significant interest due to the on-set drama, particularly the rumored romance between Streisand and Sharif. In Funny Girl, Sharif and Streisand played the characters Nick Arnstein and Fanny Bryce, who engaged in an on-screen romance. This romantic storyline extended off-screen as well, as Sharif's grandson later revealed that his grandfather had deep feelings for Streisand and spoke fondly of her. Sharif, in interviews, confessed to being smitten with Streisand to the extent that he was willing to make substantial changes in his life for her, including considering a conversion to Judaism. However, he drew the line at relocating to New York, indicating the complexities of their connection. He described his feelings for Streisand as intense, but also noted her eccentricity. The affair between Streisand and Sharif was far from universally supported. At the time, Streisand was married to Elliot Gould, which meant that the affair had to be kept under wraps. The relationship also faced additional challenges because of international political tensions. The fictional romance between Sharif, an Egyptian, and Streisand, a Jewish woman, was considered controversial, leading to the banning of the movie in some international theaters. The Los Angeles Times even reported that their on-screen kiss was so provocative that Sharif faced the risk of losing his Egyptian citizenship. The affair between Streisand and Sharif, combined with the global political backdrop, created a tumultuous and controversial chapter in the production of Funny Girl. It serves as a reminder of how personal relationships and public perceptions can intersect in the world of celebrity, with far-reaching consequences. Barbara Streisand also had high-profile relationships with other notable figures. She dated former Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau and had a tumultuous relationship with John Peters, a hairdresser and producer. According to a source who spoke to people, their relationship was marked by intense passion and frequent conflicts. They both had strong personalities and often clashed, living on an adrenaline high. 
Allegedly, they even resorted to violence towards each other during their relationship. Their tumultuous love affair eventually came to an end when Barbara went to England to film Yentl. In contrast to her earlier relationships, Barbara's marriage to James Brolin has been predominantly positive and enduring. However, even in their relatively stable relationship, they have not been immune to rumors and controversies. For example, there was a misleading National Enquirer report that falsely suggested James Brolin had cheated on his wife, a claim that was later debunked by outlets like Gossip Cop. Despite the ups and downs in her romantic life, Barbara Streisand found lasting love and stability with James Brolin. Barbara Streisand's distinctive nose has become an iconic feature, but it has not always been celebrated. In the early stages of her career, she faced pressure to alter her nose. As she revealed to Refinery 29, she frequently heard suggestions like, Why don't you fix your nose? However, Beneath these comments was a palpable anti-Semitic subtext, with people implying that her nose made her look too Jewish. Barbara, an accomplished actor and singer, expressed her bafflement at this idea, asserting that Jewish people have a wide range of nose shapes. She embraced her nose and was proud of her Jewish identity. There were moments when Barbara contemplated conforming to the prevailing beauty standards by modifying her nose through plastic surgery. However, she was deterred by fear, primarily of the pain associated with the procedure. She also voiced concerns about trusting a doctor's aesthetic judgment, worrying that they might remove too much or change her unique feature beyond recognition. She shared these thoughts with Oprah Winfrey, explaining her reservations about undergoing surgery to alter her nose. In the end, Barbara Streisand decided not to change anything about her nose, bump and all. She has remained resolute in her choice, expressing her contentment with her distinctive nose. She shared with Oprah Winfrey that she liked her nose from certain angles and appreciated its unique characteristics, including the bump. Her decision not to alter her nose has become a testament to her self-confidence and authenticity, and it's a feature that many of her fans appreciate and admire. Barbara Streisand, despite her immense talent and fame, has had to grapple with stage fright and performance anxiety throughout her career. During a carpool karaoke segment on The Late Late Show in 2018, host James Corden inquired about her stage fright and whether she still experiences nervousness. Barbara admitted that while she doesn't get nervous nervous, she still gets scared and doesn't particularly enjoy performing. Her primary concern is not wanting to disappoint her audience. To manage her stage fright, Barbara Streisand has developed a foolproof method. She told James Corden that she relies on the mantra, let go and let God. This spiritual approach helps her find solace and calmness before taking the stage. In her conversation with Oprah Winfrey, she also revealed that she discovered a more practical solution to address her stage fright, medication for it. She wished she had known about these pills earlier in her career, as they have proven to be helpful in managing her anxiety about performing. Furthermore, Barbara shared that the context of her performance matters. She finds it easier to perform in front of a large, full stadium audience because it feels like she's looking into a black hole, which allows her to escape into her own world. However, she experiences greater discomfort performing in more intimate settings, such as in front of a few people in a living room. This glimpse into Barbara Streisand's struggles with stage fright underscores the emotional challenges that even seasoned performers can face. Her coping strategies, both spiritual and medical, provide insight into how she manages her anxiety and continues to captivate audiences despite her fears. Barbara Streisand has long been subjected to the label of a diva, characterized as bossy and demanding. However, she vehemently rejects these labels, considering them to be inherently sexist. She pointed out the glaring double standard that exists, highlighting how men in similar positions are never subjected to such negative descriptions. In her own words, she explained, a man is commanding, a woman is demanding, a man is forceful, a woman is pushy, he's assertive, she's aggressive, he strategizes, she manipulates, he shows leadership, she's controlling, 
he's committed, she's obsessed, he's persevering, she's relentless. A man is a perfectionist, a woman is a pain in the a. Barbara has also had to contend with detractors who seemed determined to see her fail in the entertainment industry. She believes that this animosity may have led to the creation of outlandish rumors about her. For instance, she shared an example with Oprah Winfrey, where people spread stories suggesting that she would fire a musician on the spot for playing a wrong note. She dismissed these rumors as baseless, emphasizing that they were nothing more than diva crap. She underlined her normalcy and questioned why she would dismiss a musician for a mistake when she herself, as a performer, is not immune to making errors. Barbara Streisand's candid response highlights the unjust scrutiny and gender bias she has faced throughout her career. Barbara Streisand, a renowned actress, director, and singer, has had a long and successful career in the entertainment industry. However, her journey has not been without its challenges, especially regarding gender inequality and discrimination in Hollywood. In 2012, when asked about the state of sexism in Hollywood, Streisand's response was disheartening. She expressed uncertainty about how much had changed since she first entered the industry in the 1960s. She highlighted two critical issues. The gender pay gap, and the difficulty women face in getting their films made. Streisand's observation of women being paid less than men in the film industry pointed to a persisting issue of inequality. To illustrate the challenges she faced, Streisand mentioned her experience making the film Yentl. Although the production took place in England, where women held powerful positions in politics, she still encountered obstacles. She attributed the delay of 14 years in bringing Yentl to the big screen to sexism, particularly the lack of opportunities for female directors. Despite the presence of strong women in leadership roles in England, the film industry still proved resistant to female talent, reflecting systemic biases against women in Hollywood. Streisand further discussed her experiences at the 2017 Tribeca Film Festival, shedding light on the discrimination she faced during the making of Yentl. She revealed that many men and older individuals acted as gatekeepers, making it difficult for her to receive approval for the project. Moreover, she highlighted the disheartening reality of encountering internalized sexism from some women when Yentl was released. Female critics, in particular, failed to engage with the film's central themes, which celebrated women's empowerment and their limitless potential. Streisand's candid remarks serve as a sobering reminder that despite progress in some areas, gender inequality and discrimination, both within and outside of the film industry, continue to hinder the advancement of women in Hollywood. Her experiences and insights underscore the importance of continued efforts to address and rectify these issues in the entertainment world and beyond. What do you think about the adversities that Barbara Streisand had to go through in her life? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.